And then, what would you do if someone at your husband's work flirted with him or with your wife? What would you do? Leave in the comments. But if you want to know the advice and love school answers, be with us because we'll answer it now. Você está ouvindo a Escola do Amor Responde, com Renato e Cristiane Cardoso. We are going to answer the question of this student from São Paulo, whose wife had someone flirting with her. A colleague from work flirted with her. Let's hear his question. He is furious, the husband is furious and wants to learn what to do. He says he doesn't trust in his wife anymore. Let's go. I've been married for 16 years, going to 17 now. And my wife has recently returned to work. It has been about one year and six months that she's been back to work. She's been working in a public transport company. And where she works, there are 20 men and 10 women working. I have worked in this company before, and I know a lot of people there in this company, people that I have worked with from different departments. And the department where my wife is working, I know three or four people there. The others don't know me. Then she started to work in this department and joined the group chat of the company. And in this group chat, there are women and men there making jokes with one another. And until then, no problem. But my wife took a picture with her friend from work. They were having coffee together. And one of the men of the group of the company made a collage and edited the picture, removing the woman from the picture and putting him in the picture. So both of them were in the picture and there were a lot of hearts that he put there in the picture. So when I took my wife's phone to see, I saw this picture and I got upset because she never stopped referring that man from making those kinds of jokes. She allowed that to go on as a married woman. She has to impose herself for this kind of liberty not to happen there. And this is the problem because there was a discussion there in the group chat and she was even removed from the group chat. So since then, I never trusted my wife again at work. And our fights have been mostly about this because I lost trust in her. I forbid her to be talking to people, to be in circles of friendships in the work. I told her to go to work, do whatever she has to do, and then go straight home, not to be involved with people there. But I don't trust her anymore. So my marriage was deeply affected because of this situation. Because today I don't trust in her anymore. She didn't do anything but even though I don't trust her anymore. The problem is that I don't trust who is around her and because she did not impose herself, she did not behave like a married woman. She did not do anything wrong, she did not betray me, but I don't trust her anymore. When she goes to work, I am overwhelmed, crazy. Okay, student, pay attention. Currently, the situation, many women at the workplace, at the gym, anywhere, Women are no longer at home, taking care of the children, baking a cake, waiting for the husband. The vast majority. So women, most married, they work with men. Many are bosses or they have men as their boss or colleagues. And I suspect that if your wife leaves her job, and goes to another one, the situation won't change in the situation of having men there. There will be those that are respectful and those that are daring. You said that because of what happened, you no longer trust in your wife. Let's remember what happened. She, in a WhatsApp chat of the company, there was certain conversations, there was inappropriate, I don't know if it was an informal or a work chat. I don't know if it was necessary to be friendly. I think it was unnecessary because she was excluded. And here is an add-on for everybody who follows us. This matter of chats, internet and its use 
messaging apps and different apps, company apps. It brings wonderful tools, as I'm using the internet to speak to you, to reach people is wonderful, but it needs certain rules for you to use it, as anything in life. If you misuse it, you can either get hurt or hurt others. And if you are in a chat, both a man and women, if you are in a WhatsApp chat with inappropriate talk, inappropriate content, things that you don't want for your life, and people who don't add anything to your life, you are begging for problems. Especially if you are someone, even if you are single, especially you who are in a relationship, and the content from that chat bothers your partner. As if I'm in a chat where there is content that harms me, Christiane will be bothered. It may not harm her, but it may harm me. It might not be a problem for the marriage, but it might be for me. And again, the Bible speaks about the seat of the scornful, that we should not sit in the seat of the scornful. Psalm 1, the first psalm of the Bible speaks about it, for you to avoid sitting among people who bring you down and lower your standards. Thus, she made a mistake to be in a chat that she shouldn't be in because there was disrespect and certainly there was people there who didn't respect her as a married woman. Now, what I didn't understand is the part that she didn't tell you. You learn about it in her phone. I don't understand what happened because you say you don't trust in your wife anymore. Because you didn't say that she did something inappropriate. Okay, it was not prudent for her to be in the chat. Maybe she made a mistake of not reporting that to you. I believe she should have done so. In a marriage, it's always prudent. When a third person flirts with you, it's always prudent to be the first to tell your partner. It's prudent for the husband who had a woman flirting with him to tell his wife. Listen, there was a woman flirting with me and with the wife the same. So and so flirted with me. It's prudent for many reasons, for a matter of transparency, your partner not learning about it some other way, and to bring distrust. So usually it's prudent. She didn't do it. Maybe she didn't do it precisely because of this reaction from you. Maybe she didn't do it because she's afraid of your reaction. And we see that you are overreacting a little too much by saying that you no longer trust in her since she didn't do something that made her to be the main person in this indiscretion. She didn't send the heart in the chat. She suffered an inappropriate action from a disrespectful man. She suffered and her mistake was not to tell you. Now, it's over. It doesn't mean that your wife is no good, that you can no longer trust in her. No, I believe. One of the reasons why this might have happened is to show you how insecure you are. You are being insecure. And how a secure man deals with a situation like the one you're going through is the following. Three things you must do. How a secure man would behave in your shoes. First thing, he would tell his wife what he expects from her if this repeats again. Love, this man did wrong. This is not a man who you should deal with. If you have to deal with him professionally, limit to the professional side, but limit yourself because he already disrespected you. If he does it again, I want you to deal with it in the following way. If you have to report to the HR of the company, do so. You will guide your wife how you expect her to deal with the matter and that it may be reported. 
and that you may learn from her mouth. First thing. Second thing is, a secure man in your shoes would not be shaken by it. Why? Again, there was no betrayal. There was no indiscretion from her. Maybe she was imprudent. There's no reason for you to be shaken. So there's no need for you to show worry as if this would destroy your marriage. In reality, this reaction of yours is what can destroy your marriage. Because if your wife is afraid of telling you things, you bring an environment of tension in the marriage. And this is not healthy for the both of you. This can truly shake a marriage. And the third thing a man who is secure would do in your shoes after doing one and two that I've already spoken, the secure man would move on, would look forward and would just monitor the situation. If needed, this happens again, and new actions are needed, he would evaluate the moment. But beside this, he will look forward. Love, let's move on and pay attention to your marriage and to your wife. Okay? Let's take the good side of it. The good side is that this showed an insecurity in you and you need to work on that. Well, students, that's all for today. We come back tomorrow at the same time, at the same place with more Love School answers for you. And I want to remind you, man, you have your chance at the Love Therapy this Thursday. I invite all men to be here, married, single, who want to be strong, secure men. Men who pass security to their women. If you want to be part of it, be here 8 p.m. Thursday at the Temple of Solomon. See you then. Bye-bye. So, men. Men. Women need to feel security from men. The man must be secure, just as a woman must be secure too. An insecure man, for many reasons, is worse than an insecure woman. So this Thursday, we'll talk more about this to the men who want to learn how to strengthen themselves and pass this security to their wives. And they are at peace. And who knows how to deal with situations like this easily, without getting desperate, without being shaken. Okay? What do you think, if you want to leave your tip, your advice to him or to her. So leave here in the comments. See you next time. Bye-bye.